Well, he beat all the games. Bored now. I wonder what's on the YouTubers. Let's see. Essentially, if you guys want to talk about horror movies, new horror movies that are coming out, old horror movies that have been out for like 20, 30 years or more, all I pretty much want to do is talk about horror movies 24-7. Like, horror movies are my passion. It is not just a genre. It really is a lifestyle. So to give you guys a little bit more of an idea of what kind of horror movies I like, I thought that a really cool idea would be to do a horror movie tag. Since a pretty girl on the internet told me to do something, I shall do it! Good evening and welcome to another edition of The Boogeyman. So today I wanted to do a shout out to someone I came across on the YouTubers. She goes by the tag, The Horror Whore, which I thought was kind of funny because usually when I say that I'm a horror enthusiast, I, I often have to say, I like horror movies and that's two syllables. A little while back she did a video basically tagging uh, anyone who's uh, in the horror community, which I would consider myself uh, a part of, uh, and I'm trying to get more and more into um, in these social media thing they're my jigger um, which is kind of difficult for a social agoraphobe to navigate but I digress and she basically had a few questions which I have written down that I'm going to answer for her horror horror tag um, I'm not on the tag I decided you know what I'm gonna put myself on the tag so yeah so the first question she asked is what is the first horror movie you remember watching Quite a while back, I remember watching a movie. I think it was called Cameron's Closet. Uh, I remember I was about this tall um, when I watched it. It was the first. I don't even know if it really classifies as a horror movie. I just remember there's this one scene that really frightened me as a kid because uh, I was stupid. And it was the scene where this kid sees a ghost or something in his closet, and the stepdad or dad, I can't. Remember, I think it's a stepdad. Uh, goes into investigate and these big scissors in the closet for some reason they're like huge scissors and they just chop off the stepdad's head and it rolls down and I remember being really frightened by that as a child because I was a little wuss just wuss I was just a little wuss um, so that's the first horror movie that I remember it, it might not have been a horror movie I can't remember I'd have to research it but to me it was a horror movie because of that scene it really shocked me because I had never seen anything like like that on film up to that point I might have been like five or six years old so that's understandable that started my fascination with it because I had a few nightmares um, about that scene and then I just started to really be fascinated by the fact that I had nightmares about that scene and, and why I might have had nightmares about that scene and what was it uh, about the special effect that really got to me uh, and that became a lifelong fascination uh, with the things that go bump in the night Mimsy agrees so number two what is your favorite horror movie? I have a little bit of a mixed, um, a little bit of a mixed uh, opinion on what my favorite horror movie is. I don't really have one favorite horror movie per se, um, but my two favorite are uh, Hellraiser and In the Mouth of Madness. I want, I don't want to leave Hellraiser alone as my favorite horror movie because I feel like it didn't do everything that it could have done. But in terms of the things it did do, which was to create this very iconic character in Pinhead and to, to make this very poetic style of horror that was very focused on very sophisticated tropes. And, 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 and the favorite thing I like about the Cenobite character, especially Pinhead, is that the most frightening thing is his sophistication when it comes to language. Um, he, he can almost frighten you more with a witty line than he can with anything else. And that I found intensely fascinating and I, and I adore it to this day. But I feel like as a movie, it, it, it didn't quite do everything it could have. Whereas with In the Mouth of Madness, I feel like it was one of the perfect cinematic representations of kind of Lovecraftian cosmic horror. And I really love it for that. Uh, in fact, I think it's the best Lovecraftian film ever. And I'm sure fanboys of Stuart Gordon are going to kill me in my sleep now. Uh, but I actually find John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness to be the best uh, Lovecraftian horror movie. What is your favorite horror movie genre? 
Uh, I actually quite enjoy supernatural horror, which is funny because I'm actually a staunch atheist and skeptic as as a person, but as an audience member, I love to see ghosts and demons and, and all these creepy, crawly, supernatural creatures. I prefer it to be in, in, in respect of more cosmic horror, like the type of, of creatures that Lovecraft wrote about, but I find in, in movie form, that hasn't really been captured perfectly yet in The Mouth of Madness is, is close, but I still feel like that genre of cosmic horror has a long way to go in terms of cinema, but in terms of the supernatural, we have The Exorcist, you know, we have Lord of Illusions, Hellraiser. We have all these wonderful, creepy, ghostly, demonic films, and, and so that's my favorite genre. So yeah, that's my long and elaborate response to that very simple question. What genre scares you the most? Romantic comedy. Definitely romantic comedy. I'm kind of kidding and kind of not, um, because Horror doesn't really scare me per se anymore. I'm a, I'm a particularly jaded uh, person when it comes to that. I've tried to ingest as much as I can, and the downside of that is I've become very desensitized. So there isn't a whole lot of horror that can frighten me. There's horror that can disturb me, like a Serbian film still to this day kind of makes me want to wash my eyes out with bleach. But that's kind of a different thing than being scared. Um, so it, I guess it depends on, on how you define scared. But romantic comedies... They actually do legitimately frighten me because they're so sappy and, 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 and love interests and all that extra poop just kind of doesn't do it for me and, and makes me feel uncomfortable and scared. So, romantic comedy. The last horror movie that actually scared you. Trick question, it is The Notebook. Okay, no. Uh, I guess, again, in terms of, of scared, I was quite disturbed by a Serbian film and there's these transgressive films like a Serbian film and uh, an American guinea pig that are that can get under the skin very well, but I'm not sure if that really is being afraid. I can't really think of any one movie that made me really afraid for any, for myself or for the characters or, or, or anything in that regards. I'm a very difficult person to scare in general, so I will have to stick with The Notebook just because of that. Your ultimate scream queen. You mean besides you, horror horror? I'd have to go with Elvira. She was always a crush for me, even when I was little, Cassandra Peterson rocked that role. And just the, the, the character in general of Elvira, I find, is, is very elegant and fun and, and witty and, and it's vulgar where it's fun to be vulgar and, and, and witty where it's fun to be witty. And just gorgeous. I don't know if she really counts as a scream queen because she doesn't really scream that much because she's more the... So in, the, in terms of that, I guess Jamie Lee Curtis uh, has probably offered a few more actual screams. To celluloid but yeah i think you could co still consider elvira a scream queen i don't know what are your thoughts horror, horror what are your thoughts a concept that you'd like to see in horror i would like to see more of the cosmic horror like the lovecraftian cosmic horror like the, this idea of these alien beings that are so huge and vast and and large in scope that we are ants to them i like that i feel like it's not very often the case that that is brought to celluloid stuart gordon has attempted a few times i feel like I like Stuart Gordon's films, but I always feel they're way too tug-in-cheek to be taken seriously. They're a fun ride, but uh, I'd like to see something that's much more in the vein of Lovecraft's writing in general, which is kind of very morose and, and emo, I guess you'd call it, and very serious about these threats. And yeah, so I would like to see that. Uh, more cosmic horror in film. I can't really say that I've, I've ever seen anything that really captured that for me. Uh, again, the closest that I've seen personally was In the Mouth of Badness. Um, if anyone has any recommendations, sure, feel free. Uh, Event Horizon, I suppose, also touched on the, on those themes a little bit, but I've never seen it really played with well as a as a genre of cosmic horror. Um, I've seen it touched on, toyed with, but never fully embraced, and I'd like to see that. So filmmakers, do that. Your favorite on-screen kill. This is also a little bit of a trick question. Uh, my favorite on-screen kill is, I believe it's called Nyx from Lord of Illusions, uh, it's the sorcerer guy who's a true magician and can summon flames from his palms and crazy crap like that. And these group of people try to take him down, so they do this weird bondage thing where they screw things into his skull and put a bondage mask, like an s &M style mask on him, and he's like, ah, 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 and he just kind of barfs out blood and, out of his head, and then he, he dies. And that's why I say it's a trick question, because uh, well, watch the movie. You'll see why it's a true question. And if you don't know after watching the movie, just... Really? Favorite horror franchise? Hellraiser! Definitely Hellraiser. Uh, I love the Hellraiser franchise. 
Um, it's a little sad where the sequels went. Filmmakers, please stop butchering the franchise. But the first four films, and yes, the first four films, I actually adored all of the first four. Um, Hellraiser 3 was a little bit cheesy for my tastes, but 1, 2, and 4 are definitely um, some of my favorite movies. 4, I think, is very underrated. I think the critics were unfairly uh, nasty towards it. I actually really like the idea of uh, exploring Le Marchand, uh, the history of the, the little box thing. I actually really liked these uh, elements, and I actually dug up the script online, and it had elements that were cut out that I actually like as well. So anybody who likes the Hellraiser franchise, I really highly advise hunting down the Hellraiser Bloodlines uh, original script. Hollywood kind of took out a lot of some of the funner bits to it, so I highly recommend that. So yeah, Hellraiser, definitely my favorite franchise. Bar none. Favorite horror director? Um, I'm kind of torn with this question between John Carpenter and Clive Barker. Uh, Lord of Illusions is one of my favorite movies. I, I feel like Clive Barker really directed that very well, very eerily, uh, and very sophisticated. I feel uh, he wove in and out of that story very well. But John Carpenter, I still love him for giving me In the Mouth of Madness. I love that film. It's one of my all-time favorites. So yeah, uh, cross between those two. I cheated a little bit. Sorry. Please don't punish me. So there you have it. There is the horror horror tag questions answered. I hope I answered them to um, the horror horror satisfaction. I'd like to give a shout out. I adore how she calls the horror community her family. I really like that because it is a bit of a family, you know? We are very much insiders. Not everybody gets horror. So it feels nice to interact with people who do understand what makes the creepy crawly things in the dark interesting. So yeah, a shout out to the horror horror. I'd also like to shout out to Bloodbath and Beyond, who have quickly become one of my favorite channels um, for embracing horror wholesale. I've interacted with them in the comments a few times, and, and I quite like the fact that they're very responsive to the community, and I really applaud them for that. Count Jacula, I'd also like to applaud for the same reasons. I adore his videos. And I'd also like a shout out to Udabok. Um, if I got his name wrong, I'll correct it here, who does a lot of videos that aren't horror per se, but are very horror friendly. He does reviews of very transgressive films. Sometimes he even has a little puke bucket that he carries around uh, just in case. And he's watched some films that have really pushed the boundaries and have really pushed his stomach to the extreme. And these are all very much so people I adore and constantly ingest on YouTube that I'd like to give a shout out to. But overall, this has been uh, the Boogeyman responding to the Horror Horrors tag. I'm hoping she welcomes me into the, the community that is, is starting to grow on YouTube when it comes to us horror freaks. And until next time, this is the Boogeyman saying, don't be afraid of anything. Not even me. Boom. Poop. Poop. <laughs>